Hey everybody, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications doing a super quick tutorial today on how to extract media files from your PowerPoint. One of the quickest and most obvious ways is you can just right click on an image and say save as picture. Just tell it where you want to save it. Go ahead and hit save. And it saves the picture in relation to the size that it's displaying at in your PowerPoint. It also saves any effects such as drop shadows, recoloring, anything like that. If I wanted to get the image back to kind of its best original size and original formatting, I would go to the picture format tab, reset picture and size. This makes it nice and big back at its original size, releases the crop, removes the drop shadow, right click and hit save as picture. You can see my old version here, you know, save the crop and the drop shadow, like I mentioned. I could save this one and have a nice copy of the original. Go ahead and hit undo, put that back where it was. And it's nice and easy, especially for one image, but if you have a whole bunch, that could be a pain in the neck. Um, especially if I was resetting all of these, it would just make a big pile right in the middle of the slide. That would get pretty difficult. And then you can also run into this problem where you can see I can't even select this image. And I can show you why here if I right click and say format background. The background is set to this picture or texture fill, so the picture actually is in the background of the slide. There's no way for me to right click and save it. I could delete everything off the slide and then save the slide as an image would be one way to pull that out, but that's not exactly the best option. Resolution's not always great doing it that way. The easiest way and something that's very effective at getting absolutely everything out of the file is actually something that I'll do outside of PowerPoint. And here I've got my PowerPoint file. I'm just going to right click, copy it, right click, paste it. This gives me a copy of it that I can destroy and not worry about. And I'm actually going to change the file extension to .zip. So go ahead, right click and hit extract all. This could take a while if it's a really big file, but it's not too bad. And this works great on PC and Mac. Obviously zip is a little bit different on Mac, but you still get the same result. So now I've got this folder that has the same name as my PowerPoint. Go into the folder, PowerPoint folder, and media folder. And this is where you would find any videos, any images, any SVGs. As far as a media file, this is where it's going to be. So great way to pull everything out very quickly and easily and in its original sizes. Hope this was helpful for you. If you need any professional help with your PowerPoint or any sort of marketing collateral for your business, things like that, please reach out to Ghost Ranch. You can find us at ghostranch.com. Again, I'm Steve Sheets, and thank you so much for your time.